So I've watched some YouTube, watched some YouTube reactors recently, and um, they're reacting to Lord of the Rings, and I noticed that every time they watch the extended version, and Gimli talks about um, the gift that he got from Galadriel, he mentions the fact that he asked for a single hair from her golden head and and he has that uh, most pleased look on his face and uh, and he says and she gave me three like uh, that was the best thing in the world and every time I see that scene a youtuber watches it usually a millennial um, sometimes not but they always think it's kind of creepy and I don't think that um, it's one of those things that Peter Jackson decided to show in the extended edition um, because it does have historical context uh, you have to understand that at one time uh, people who were betrothed to be married uh, lived a long distance from each other and the only way to um, be in touch were, was basically correspondence. As a matter of fact, some people didn't even meet until they were to be married. Not necessarily an arranged marriage, but they, they would uh, meet eventually and uh, probably marry very soon after um, the trip was made in order to marry sometimes. Usually, um, merchant class or above um, would would have some sort of arrangement where they were able to travel, would meet people in foreign places, or perhaps uh, just fall in love through correspondence. Anyway, in lieu of physically being there, uh, sometimes a woman would send a lock of her hair and um that would be you know a piece of herself that could go with they would send locks of hair to uh people going to war um anyway it was representative of a lot of things as a matter of fact if you look at um, mythology in witchcraft and and uh and things of that nature supposedly having a piece of a person has power um, you'll see that a lot in a lot of films and uh, pop culture and books and that sort of thing that um, you have to have a piece of the person in order to have control over them or do harm to them in some way um, so that's uh, all in the context of, of a, a lock of hair or uh, in this case, a single strand, and um, there's all there's also, you know, elven. Um, I don't know. There there's a little mythology with the elves that that would make it even more special because they were immortal creatures. So I mean, that's to have a piece of someone who is immortal is kind of cool too. So. It's not creepy. It's not meant to be creepy, but um, I think I think a lot of people nowadays lack the historical context to um, make that understood uh, and and not seem creepy. So just thought I'd throw that out there for you guys. Uh, so next time you watch Lord of the Rings, uh, you know, watch watch Gimli again and kind of take that into consideration.